If a picture is worth a thousand words, then what is a video of Steph's complete shock and disappointment worth? It can't be measured. It's priceless. What's up, everyone? I'm Jackie Rain. Thanks for once again checking in with us here at The Fumble. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me on all things social media at Jared the Fanatic. Now, it all started out as fun and games, me enjoying the fact that the Warriors were falling in the rankings, but now the Warriors have the worst record in the league at 2 and 12. Hell, the Knicks have even won four games. I don't know how I feel about this new world that we live in right now. And judging from Steph's face when Kai Bowman missed this easy three, not only does he not know how to feel about it, I'm not sure he knows what world he's in. Bowman can't get it to fall. And if the Golden State Warriors tied up playing the team with the best record in the NBA. You've got to be kidding me. Or maybe you don't get paid to play this way, do you? What is Steph's face saying? One Twitter user said, someone needs to lay some sad music over that video when it cuts to Steph, like the beginning of the chorus of All By Myself. That is hilariously perfect. Another user said, that's a broken man right there. And then this user said, he was shooting 24% on three before he got hurt, LOL. Okay, Sean Claude, come through with the stats. Bowman is shooting 38% from beyond the arc, so Steph, maybe you need to fix your face. Still, that three might have helped the Warriors get close to three wins. The Warriors lost that game to the Celtics 105 to 100. It was so very close, but my, how the mighty have fallen. It is still early, but with Klay Thompson, Steph Curry, and D'Angelo Russell all sidelined right now, the Warriors need something to light a spark under the rest of the team. Don't forget though, it was just 10 years ago when Steph was a rookie and the Warriors were facing a slew of injuries as well. So this time is familiar to Steph and he thinks it is a great time for young players to get in and play every night. In an interview with Mercury News, Steph said, quote, you learn so much through these experiences, especially when I was a rookie, when we had nothing to play for and we looked at the standings, we were only playing for former coach Don Nelson's record. But every night it was always, how can we get better and take a step in the right direction? Same situation, but now it's up to Steve Kerr to keep his team afloat. I'm not sure what Don Nelson did to get through a trying time, but Steve Kerr is reading. Not just stats and playbooks, he's reading books like A Brief History of Humankind and Victor Franklin's Man's Search for Meaning. Kerr said, quote, anything like those two books provide perspective. You just remember what people have had to go through in the world. We're playing basketball, so we're doing okay. It's really impossible not to love Coach Kerr. As much as we all love to win, the fact that they can go out there night after night and do what they love is a Amazing. Bumps along the way are expected. I doubt Steve Kerr expected it to get this bumpy. The Warriors have just gone through their first five game losing streak since 2013 and have the worst stance since the 1999-2000 season. And they are dead last in every defensive category. Talk about uncharted waters. Steve Kerr doesn't have much experience in these losing seas, but once again, he is taking it in stride saying, quote, we're in an entirely different situation. So that requires patient work and effort, but we've got to keep these guys up. We can't let them lose hope, lose faith and lose spirit. That is our coaching staff's job. It is so annoying. Even when I want to be happy that the Warriors are where they are, I can't. Steph, Clay, Steve, Kerr, all stand up guys. How can you not root for them just a tiny bit? The good news is Steph does plan on coming back this season. I definitely expect to uh, be ready to play. I don't know when, but at some point in early spring, it's just a, <clears throat> a matter of the rehab process. Steph will be out for at least three months before doctors can reevaluate his recovery. He'll have another procedure to remove pins in his hands in December. With any luck, he is looking to rejoin the team in January. I wouldn't count on it, and even if he did, we all know it's going to take some time to get back into the rhythm. I would love to see if Steph can hold this team on his own, but this season, I don't think it's gonna factor in. Either way, I think this season is a wash. If that is the case, should Steph even come back this season? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But listen, I am still going to point and laugh at you Warrior fans out there. I just want you to know it pains me to do so. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray, and thanks for watching The Fumble.